Okay, welcome to my channel, AA1PR, simplyhamradio.com. Today we are checking out, testing, the scramble feature on the TYT TH UV88. Only other radio that I have that has a scramble feature built into it is this cheap little battle thing, BFAAAS. Maybe we'll do a video review of these. I've never done a video review of this radio. I use them for a lot of things. Have this one set up for the family, itinerary frequencies. Uh, I have another one set up for ham frequencies, all UHF 400 to 470. But anyways, let's transmit here. I got it set up for FRS channel one. So here we are. We're gonna open up the TYT THUV88 CPS software. And I'm gonna choose just randomly channel 111. That's FRS channel one. So over in the lower right hand corner, you're going to see scramble. We're going to move that to scramble one. There's eight options. We're going to choose one. I got it set up for FRS channel one. Testing, testing, testing. Test, 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 test. Okay, this is not scrambled. That has scrambled enabled on it. Scramble feature one. I forget how many available options there are for scramble. So let's reprogram this with a scramble also one and let's see what happens. So in order to get the 888 to scramble we're going to open up the 888 PCS software of the CPS. And here I have channel FRS1 set to low power. And we're going to hit where the red arrow is, scramble. We're going to turn it to on. We're going to hit File, Save, and then we're going to hit the red arrow to the radio and write it back to the radio. Now let's proceed. Power on. One. Testing one, two, one, two, test. Testing one, two. Okay, so we got the Belfing 888 programmed with Scramble on. There's only one scramble choice, and apparently that one TYT is set to one. Testing one, two, one, two, test, one, two, testing, testing, one, two, one, two, test, testing, testing, testing. Testing one, two, one, two, test. You're getting a bunch of feedback, we're too close, but there you go. Scramble works. If I had another radio that had all the capabilities, all the scramble channels, options like this, then we could check it. But anyways, one seems to work with the 888 for what it's worth. I don't know, you can't use it in an amateur mode, but maybe in a business security setting, something like that. I don't know what you would want to use that for. Anyways. Please like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification for future videos. Support us on patreon.com forward slash simply ham radio. Use our Amazon link for any and all purchases off Amazon. If you're going to buy anything through Bridgecom, please use our Bridgecom link. And I thank you for viewing and uh, stay tuned for next future videos. 7 3.